okay guys uh, last class we have seen that introduction about consumer behavior and also we have seen that being a consumer what are all our responsibilities before buying a product or getting any kind of services we need to be check about quality quantity the kind of product what we are getting whether it is portable whatever the amount we are paying so these are all common responsibilities has to be followed by each and every buyer now today's class i would like to continue about what are the forms we are having about to protect ourselves from the sellers district level state level national level and also we'll discuss about types of business organizations for the today session okay what kind of relief or remedies will be getting consumers as i already told you the major motive of the organization is to getting of profit how they will be getting profit by selling their products in the market with a reasonable prices reasonable quantity through that they will be getting profit of course people also that means consumers also they will be very much interest about to buy those products for fulfillment of their basic needs but some business people they will be violating about the fundamental principles ethics of the business because of that what will happen ultimately lower quality products or cheaper quality or the duplicate products will be allowed or entertained into the market what is the price they are paying ultimately they are not getting by the reasonable worth of products if for if, if it is physically proved or scientifically proved you can approach to the consumer protection forms they will help in a better way so how they will help us they will talk to the sales company and they will getting back all our rights whatever the amount we paid equally we are going to be get so what we are going to get so here i have mentioned the list of points these six important points are remedies whenever the consumer was cheated first one removal of defects from the goods sometimes the entire product is good but inside certain components are not at all qualitative a defected products were sorted in the inside of the product when you approach the consumer protection forms and through them the sales companies will be accepting to identify the defects components in the goods and they will immediately identify the defects if at all possible for doing any kind of repairs they will do it for us by the free of cost if it is a minor thing they will be following by the first method second one replacement of the product if it is not possible for doing any kind of repairs of the product by the time you can demand the sales organization for the sake of replacement of the product so what they will do in the point of the replacement they will immediately immediately will be replacing the product so how they will replace the product here replacement in a multiple way 
so what is meant by a multiple way they are going to replace of a component or they may replace up by the entire product also so a replacement is also one of the important component which is going to be done by the sales organizations third one a refund of price whatever you paid so in the second point we have seen many example like uh, you are buying a product through amazon or flipkart or some other websites and you can able to use by the product for the 10 days if at all you are not comfortable with the product so immediately you can return the product by stating the reason the wrong product was placed our product is not at all suitable for my requirements our product is defected so immediately what company will do they will give a request like we are going to replacing by some other product even replacement also you are not comfortable and then what will happen immediately they will take back the product and they will the refund the money in this is going to be called as a third step because which is going to be very difficult for doing repair and moreover customer also not at all accepting about by the replacement so by that time it is a responsibility of the company for refund of the price according to the terms and condition because once you bought a product for 1000 rupees definitely they won't refund by 1000 rupees they will refund 900 rupees or 950 rupees so extra 50 rupees they will take like they will be saying like this is going to be tax or else they will say like this is going to be a transportation charges in some other reasons they will be deduct some sort of amount and rest of the amount only will be giving to us so a refund also to be like a one of the remedy for consumer benefit oriented fourth one compensation of the loss or injury suffered sometime you are buying very very essential product that may be consumer durable products or sometime industrial products because of these products are not working properly ultimately the following works are disturbed a lot so by the time if in case happened any kind of inconvenience or injury it is just like a flammable or there is a scope of accident so those kind of products what will happen you can file a case against the company not only for refund of the money but also that they may ask they may ask and go for the compensation for example i i hope you have seen a movie called anyan so in that movie vikram will have three different characters so first character like a ramanujam so in the ramanujam what he will do he will go to the an automobile shop he bought a clutch wire the price of 10 rupees so he is driving his uh, tvs on road suddenly the clutch wire uh, that was that was not working and that was broken suddenly in between the traffic so the brake wire the brake also not working so because of he bought a duplicate product when he was in traffic there is a scope of accident there is a scope for the injury so he will file a case against the company so here you you must be understand you the company not only for replacement of the product product you will be able to replace if in case the person or the buyer was would have faced any kind of accident can you replace the person no so court will view all these things as a very serious 
so immediately what they will do you have to pay compensation for the clutch wire or the brake wire whatever the 10 rupees at the same time they will impose heavy compensation it may be 15 lakhs 20 lakhs also they will be imposing on the company because of this mentally the, uh, the buyer was suffered a lot so compensation also you need to pay for it so these kind of benefits will be getting by the consumer through when they are approaching consumer forms then next last but one removal of deficiency in service sometime what will happen they will provide the product they will provide services but all these product services are insufficiently they will provide you are not at all comfortable so by the time what will do what you can do is you can file a case because you are not at all happy whatever the services you have been received from them example like a air conditioner installment so when you go for the <clears throat> air conditioner install you called a service boy so the service boy came from the company and he said you need to bring uh, some 15 bricks you need to bring wooden things then only i will come and do the service okay but finally i bought everything I, I was uh, bringing to my home at the same time the service man was incomplete at least per his wish he broke in the wall he has done that fixing of the air conditioner i feel that he is rudely doing this installation of the air conditioner in between he got a call and he is talking with somebody else more than one hour and suddenly he said, I'm feeling hungry. I will go home. I will have my lunch and I will be backing after two hours. So these kind of things, inefficient, deficient services was offered or getting from the an employee. So by that time, you can definitely file a case against the employee, against the company because of you are getting deficiency in service so it is a responsibility of the company to provide full fledged services i hope you would have seen uh, uh, even the ceiling fan also so once upon a time once you bought a ceiling fan you need to call for the electrician nearby your house and they will do the installation if you find any difficulty they in the current days they are giving the toll free number you can call the toll free number the boy will come and he will do that pre installation of the ceiling fan and it will be having a guarantee of two years or something so if you find any uh, defects in the product if you go to the shop if you talk to them and they will tell that i will give the toll free number you please go and talk to them they will come to your house and they will do the services don't come and pull us in this issue So these kind of things also impractically happen. So before buying a product, being a wise customer, you need to be inquired and then you need to getting of the products. Even I myself also bought one uh, TV, Sanyo TV, and this was one not eight centimeters. They have given guarantee for one year. Now two years completed. So after two years, what happened? This screen was not working, blinking. Then I called the company electrician, is the company <coughs> electrician, TV mechanic person. And he said, you need to change this screen. I said, okay, what is the price of the screen? He said 45,000. I was shocking. So why it was 45,000 I have guarantee. He said guarantee only for the one year. Now this is second year. So there is no guarantee. So if you want to change, 
you can buy a new one then i asked him okay uh, i know I, I, i'm going to buy with the new one i don't want to have this tv so you just take this tv and what is the price you are going to pay for me he said 1500 rupees i bought this tv for 50000 within 2 years the same company boy want to buy a tv from my side by paying 1000 and 1500 rupees now you just imagine the picture too and the screen is how important was this tv because one year over soldering or something what they have done i don't know but finally in the second year i was facing the problem so when when we have guarantee period or duration time we can file a case so i was just left the tv like that for the 10 days ultimately what was happened is sorry so i was just left the tv like this for the uh, 20 days i don't know what happened again it's coming and working properly so when you find any kind of deficiency in services or the product you will be having the right to file a case against the people last one stopping the sales of hazardous <coughs> hazardous goods so as we know that certain products are important for us but at the same time these goods will not be sale in the where there is a crowd of the people you would have seen the gas cylinder godam or the crackers mostly all these shops will be having a city outskirts where what i'm telling that manufacturing units will be having city outskirts because if in case happened any kind of fire accident it will spoil nearby the 20 25 kilometers so those kind of products whatever you are using you must be aware of that these products are really good or any kind of flammable aspects are there i hope you would have known about the gas cylinder every house you will be find out by the gas cylinder because of the gas cylinder at the houses happened any kind of accidents you can file a case against to the concerned gas company and the company will be compensate that 2 lakh rupee for the loss but we don't know many of them they will be simply ignoring so but if you file a case then definitely you will be getting back up the 2 lakh rupees for the renovation of your house apart from that if you have any kind of insurance and other things you will be getting from the company so these are the some benefits we are getting once we are knowing about by the things when it come to the uh, next one the redressal agencies so last week class we have seen the video also on the point of district form sales come state commission and as well as national commission so what is this redressal agency i already told you from the ground level to top level they want to monitor about the complaints which are all given by the consumers relatively according to the last basis they were splitting that according to the last basis they were splitting that different forms commissions first in the name which they mentioned very clearly district level if you have any problems you can approach to the district form state level state level commission national level again we'll have national level commission now we'll see how the commissions or forms will be working first one district level form i already told you 
consumer related issues will be solved by the consumer protection forms so what is right what is wrong will be adjudicated by a judge that is the reason in the district level forms a qualified person to be acting as a judge as we know about tnpsc and uh, up ssc union level uh, state level they will be conducting different sort of examination to select the appropriate candidates here also we are acting as a district level judges district level courts will be available so in the district level court district level whoever the person was qualified and those people will be acting as a president for the district level form he may be a retired person also so here he will be called as a president for the district level form and also will be having two more people will assist him as a members so in this two members one person must be a woman because this is this is this uh, district level form has given the equal priority for men and women mostly the products or household products will be consumed will be started to using by the women only so in the district level form they will be holding an office so whoever as a member they will be working in the district level form for the 5 years or else once they are attaining the age of 65 so whichever is earlier relatively they will be stepping back from the district level form so this district level form how they will be handle the issues this this is going to be uh, very clearly defining on the basis of the losses goods related service related whatever the losses was occurred and they have mentioned that the losses are between 5 lakhs to 20 lakhs because by rupees product damage also we cannot able to go to the district level form that is why they are putting lower cut off ceiling and higher cut off ceiling between 5 lakhs to 20 lakhs if you are facing any kind of losses you are permitted allowable to go for the district level form so in the district level form whoever the district judge or a retired person will be acting as a president and will be having the two members will be adjudicate what is the loss this was happened by normally or by the defective products and they will call the sales company relatively they will be here here they will be heard about by the arguments and then they will give the judgments so this is going to be happened at the district level form and then next one state level okay here what one more slide also was there which is talking about what are their powers of the district level form so in the district level form the district judges may recommend to the company if they are not following these kind of modification changes then they will be taking or they will be viewing the things are to be very serious first one they may ask to the company to remove the defects of the particular product whoever customer uh, was filed a case against you and his argument is these are the components are defected or damaged things were there so what you supposed to do immediately you need to be rectify and recover of the those things if it is not possible you need to go for the replacement of the whole product whole product you need to be 
replacement or else you need to repay of the full amount of the money even that is also uh, not favorable or not at all accepted by the company then ultimately the district level judge will take action against the company as i already told you because of using your product if in case any consumer was suffered a lot or having any kind of physical injury damages by the time also they will be request the district level form president stating that because of injury we need additional compensation from the company definitely company is responsible for that they will be repay the amount or the compensation for the consumers because of under the negligence of the manufacturing of the product so these are the general powers of the district level forms not only district level state and uh, national level also will have same kind of powers next one state commission what is this state commission i already told you in the district level 5 lakhs to 20 lakhs will be handled by the district form when it come to the state level state level also will have one retired president or else he may be as a sitting or at present working judge of the high court he will be acting as a president of the state level consumer protection commissions so here also the person will have two assistants or two members will be uh, will be available compulsory one from representation of the women so here what they will do product or services related cases will be registered but here their ceiling of losses are minimum of 20 lakhs not more than of the 1 crore see in the district level 5 lakhs to 20 lakhs state level 20 lakhs to 1 crore so between damages or losses whatever it was happened and those issues will be solved in the state level commission apart from this sometimes what what they will do it is just like a regular courts for example uh, petitioner and respondent both are having a problem so they filed a case at the district level court district level court has given judgment favorable to the petitioner so what petitioner done again he said sorry op uh, opposite person respondent he got angry and he filed a case in the state high court so district level court the, with the approval of the judge permission they are going for the state level so in the state level also if they are getting negative judgment or which is not all favorable for them again they will file a case at the supreme court supreme court whatever the judgment they have given that is going to be a final in india so here also in the district level form whatever the judgments they have given if at all not at all satisfied by the company or else opposite that means customers definitely they may request the district level for president we want to file a case at the state level commission yes definitely you can able to apply but it should be an approval from the district level form president if he is not at all accepting you cannot able to file a case at the state commission definitely you should be required his approval or by the permission so state commission will handle those district level form transferred cases plus 20 lakhs to 1 crore between losses third one which is going to be called as a national commission in the name itself they mentioned very clearly national commission will be handling the issues of the 
throughout the country. So here, who is going to be acting as a president? The person who is a judge of Supreme Court. And those people will be acting as a president. So we have seen district level, state level will have only two members. When it comes to the national level, we'll have compulsorily of the four members. So in these four members, three members should be men. One member should be a woman, woman side of representation. Here also same five years is a duration of the tenure. Now, in the district level, state level, five years are by the 65 years, whichever is earlier. Now, here, five years are 70 years, whichever is earlier. So, extra, they are having five more years here. So, in the national level commission, what they will do? They will file cases. They will receive the cases, whatever uh, the losses minimum of one crore or above and those cases will be viewed in seriously at the national level commission and also they will be accepting they will be receiving the complaints or the commission the state level commission whatever the forwarded cases also will be handling here and one more important thing is national level commission <clears throat> once they are handling by the any kind of issues they will try to solve all the issues by within a month so district level state level national level we are having three different level of forms and depending on the losses depending on requirement of uh, request of the appealed person the cases can be transferred up to national level commission for getting of the justice so after that uh, redressal agencies next one more important thing we are having that is called at, that, that is going to be called it as <clears throat> role of consumer organizations what is meant by the role of consumer organizations i already told you district level state level national level only we are having by the consumer protection forms these are going to be directly connecting but being a consumer how you will file a case at the district level form we don't know again we are going to approaching by the advocate legal person with the help of him we are going to find a case but here apart from that many institutions many charities they are voluntarily coming forward they are helping the regular citizens the consumers we are here to assist you we are here for helping you so in india there are about 500 consumer organizations are working even till the date i don't know these many institutions are there so 500 consumer organizations are working and what is the duty of these 500 consumer organizations whenever you are facing a losses immediately you can inform to them they will take the uh, a severe protest or they will take the problem as for them and they will file a case on behalf of you they will give you moral support on behalf of you they will provide you the entire support to file a case up to winning so in mumbai also there is a consumer form will be called it as Consumer Guidance Society of India and one more institute, Citizen Action Group. Same like in Ahmedabad also, Consumer Education and Research Center. 
in new delhi common cases sorry causes next consumer unity and trust society so like this we are having n number of societies whereas directly or indirectly will be helping us so how this institutes or the firms of 500 will be working first bringing out brochures and journals whenever you are approaching by these firms they will give you a brochures they will uh, explain you in the journals stating that these are all your rights your roles and responsibilities before you are buying the product if you find any defects this is the process of that to file the case this is how you need to be do the follow up so these kind of guidance will be given by the consumer protection firms but we we are really suffered a lot buying a product from the company but we don't know how to file a case these institutes will be help us and not only to file a case and before that they were talking about spreading up consumer awareness we are conducting consumer awareness camp in the camp we are talking about these are the problems generally if you are started to buying of the product for example nutrition food nowadays people or the doctors also saying that don't eat rice for the three times in a day don't eat rice three times in a day whatever our forefathers during our forefather days we don't have this kind of junk food they ate rice only three times in a day and they lived for more than 80 years when it come to our generation we are not getting by the nutrition healthy food we are just eating a pesticide foods so nutrients are come down and pesticides are very high that is going to literally killing our life so what we supposed to do so again we are going with the medicine buying the nutrition with the help of by the medicine so the consumers this is one food re food related awareness so like that the consumer firms will be knowing about multiple things will be guiding us in a better way to live our life collecting data of different products and testing them if in case if you have any kind of doubts about the product they will be getting samples and in front of you they will check the product and they will be telling you scientifically this was proved and scientifically many restricted things were included in the product this is not at all good for the human being so those kind of testing help also will be done by the these consumer firm agencies so knowingly unknowingly they are helping us in a bigger way filing suits or complaints on behalf of the consumers so this is going to be a next stage so first these firms what they will do they will call the company people for the settlement of the issue even if they are not settling the issues by replacement or money back or whatever it is then ultimately they will file a complaint against to the company but mostly the companies will not be accepting the any cases or any kind of uh, legal aspects because that is going to be a big defect for their company reputation so companies also will be having a look of those aspects also by very clearly then next one educating the consumers to help themselves so not only to directly or indirectly helping to the consumers by this form and these forms are guiding you you need to help for yourself you need not depending on somebody else you yourself need to be understood
sorry so you yourself need to be knowing about by the points you once you are knowing about by yourself then ultimately what will happen in future uh, you are uh, you will be knowing about how to checking of the product and you are going to be fully aware about by the things and you are going to be educating somebody your friends or your uh, at your house somebody else also you may guide them in a better way so you are you are a learned person and as well as you are going to guiding to the somebody else also then next last but one educating women regarding the consumerism so because mostly uh, the men what they will do they will buy the products hand it over to the women for regular uses or preparation for family but now the current scenario has has been completely changed there is no separation of the work men and women both are equal both will go for the shopping and both will see the product first they will have their own family budget what is the expenditure what is the product we are going to be buy how it is going to be useful for us for the one month they will see about by the product and as well as company related important components and then relatively they are going to buy which is going to be suitable for the family so not only by the budget but also you must be knowing about by what is the quality concern you are buying you are going to buy so every consumer they must be knowing about by their rights last one motivating people to ask for qualifying marks such as isi mark up mark as you know that nowadays all companies they are getting minimum certification iso international army for standardization isi up mark so why they are getting all these certification the certifications are a symbol of the companies are having by the minimum substantial quality about by the product otherwise this will not be sustained